Shamila. I uh, wanted to come and talk to you guys about Eve, but before we talk about Eve, you guys have to learn about what, why Eve comes, which is at the end of Ramadan. Ramadan is a holy month for all Muslims. Who Muslims are, um, what Ramadan means, and what fasting means, because Ramadan is all about fasting for 30 days. So in that holy month, we fast, and at the end of the month, we celebrate Eid. We follow a lunar calendar, and Ramadan is a month that falls in our lunar calendar. And it comes around, almost around the same time each year, but it'll, it'll go back a little bit just because it's based off on the moon. So Ramadan is important to us because that's the month that the Quran, our holy book, it was revealed during that month. So it's a very important month and during the, the 30 days of that month, dawn until dusk, we fast, meaning no food, no water, nothing, nothing goes into your mouth. You wake up in the morning, before the sun comes out, you eat a small meal so that you can last until it's next time to eat. Then when the sun goes back down, you have another meal and you open your fast. At the end of the 30 days um, comes Eid. Eid is a very um, happy and joyous time because you get to celebrate that you've made so much sacrifices during the 30 days of not eating your food that you normally like to eat all throughout the day. And you celebrate with your friends and your family. In the morning we wake up, we uh, go for prayers. Everyone prays together. And um, after that, we tell everyone Eid Mubarak when you see another Muslim or even another person who's with you and you want to greet them Eid Mubarak, you hold them and you hug them three times and you say Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak. And that's how you greet each other. When you wake up in the morning and you eat a little bit, then at the end of uh, when the sun goes down and you eat again, you open your, you break your fast by eating something sweet. So dates are usually how we open a fast and you eat one of the dates and that's how you um, break your fast by eat, putting something sweet in your mouth. But there are things like pokoras, these are like fritters and you fry them and pretty much you get a little happy because you can eat after a long day of fasting. And so you eat a little bit somewhat indulgent foods but not too indulgent. Um, but pakora is one of the things that are usually served on the table along with the meal, the rest of the meal that you eat when you break your fast. On the day of the Eid, coming back to that, we wake up, we do prayers, greet everyone, and usually families and friends will get together at someone's house and have a big feast. Big feast of everything that you want because you've been holding back for the whole month and um, it includes a lot of good food, a lot of good food that like savory food and then lots and lots of sweets. And shir korma, a tradition uh, to eat at the time of Eid. So during the day of Eid, usually somewhere in some form, you'll have a milk-based dessert, which is uh, shir korma or kheer sometimes. But I want you guys to taste this. Kids actually receive gifts from the adults. And those gifts are called Eidis. Eidis are usually money. So E-D, that's what it's called. The parents will give it to their children. Parents will give it to their nieces and nephews or their friends' kids. And kids will usually get an envelope that has money inside. I brought that for you guys too, just so you guys can experience how um, kids feel happy when they receive Eidis. Let's not drink it yet, we'll all drink it together, okay? Yes. Yes. Come, 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 come. Thank you. My pleasure.